Morning, everybody. It is Way In Monday. I'm Debbie Omad. Um, I've been doing the intermittent fasting Omad lifestyle for about nine months now, and I am down uh, a little bit more than 60 pounds, like 63, I think it is. Omad is one, one meal a day, so you fast for 23 hours, you eat for an hour. Well, you don't eat for an hour, but you have an hour window in which to eat one meal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me get that straight. So the way I started it was I started 16 hours of fasting with an 8-hour window and I was eating two meals. And then I bumped that up to 18 hours and then up to 20 hours with a 4-hour eating window in which I was only eating one meal. So I just went ahead and did OMAD. So typically what I do is I'll, eat, I'll fast for 23 to 27 hours and I'll eat one meal um, each day. And I've been trying to go longer. <laughs> um, we have a Facebook group called Debbie Omad. We will do this together. Feel free to check that out. But I've been trying to go longer. Um, we had one of our members from the group doing 72s, which is 72 hours without eating, and then um, having a meal. And I was trying to do that, it didn't work. <laughs> I tried it a couple few times, it didn't work. Um, in fact, this week I didn't even get over 27 hours. Um, it's just, there's just been a lot of food around. It's the holiday season and yeah, it's, it's just not been good. So today's weigh-in Monday and I do a weigh-in Monday video every Monday. Um, today I have no makeup on. Sorry, it's been um, a hectic morning so far. But I did want to show you. I got my hair done. <laughs> Somebody I met um, that does hair uh, did did mine, um, cut, dye, highlight, all that stuff for free. So I thought that was pretty cool as a Christmas present. So, yay. And it, it turned out nice. I, I got to get used to it because all the different colors, I'm not used to that. But it, it, looks, it looks cool. You can't see the gray. And that was my big goal is I didn't want to see gray hair anymore. Anyways, so got that done. Um, as far as my weigh in, well, that's a different story. <laughs> I didn't gain, but I didn't lose. I'm, I'm still at 147, which is fine. I expected to gain, to be honest with you. When I got on the scale this morning, I thought, it's not going to be pretty. I didn't, didn't like go crazy this week or anything, but like I said, I, I didn't even make it past like 27 hours this week. I just didn't. Um, and it's not even that I was especially hungry. It's just that there's been a lot of food <laughs> around. And I did eat carbs um, almost every day. I think there were two days that I did not eat carbs. But almost every day I did. And like I said, I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't gain. So I'm counting that as a win <laughs> because I didn't gain. So that's a win, right? Um, so in total, I'm down. I, I want to say 63 pounds. And then um, this is... Happy New Year week. We are starting a brand new decade. My gosh, not just a new year, but a new decade. Um, talk about new beginnings. We're going to start this year off right. Um, I'm going to keep pushing to get past my 40. I think the most I did was 46 um, ever. <laughs> so I'm going to try and get past that and actually make it to a 48 and then a 72. That's my goal um, for January. And I'm going to continue on my journey because I still feel like I have about 25 to 30 pounds to lose so I'm going to keep pushing until I get those off but I understand the closer you get to your goal weight the harder it is to lose the weight because it's you know it, it, you don't have that much to lose anymore although I still feel like I have a lot to lose so we'll see we'll see how this progresses obviously I know I need to be more active um physical activity to to get this um working for me but up until this point you guys during the summer I was super super active um, swimming every day I was really active but now that it's cold I'm really not that active anymore I mean on weekends I'm active I, I go to church I volunteer I'm doing stuff but I'm not like working out and it's too cold to swim and this pool is not heated <laughs> so I've not been swimming um, but 
the scale is still going down, as we know, because I'm at 147. So exercise is an important aspect of this, but it isn't needed in the beginning, okay? So when you've got a lot to lose, you don't have to worry about exercising. Just worry about getting your fasting down. And then, again, as you get closer, then you want to start toning your muscles, right? So, and I need to start doing that more. Like I said, if in the summer, that was no problem. <laughs> but in the winter, it's a little bit more difficult, and I'm sure for all of us. So we got to come up with other ways to do it. So I'm, I'm, I've got to start walking every night. That's what i got to do. But it, it's like I tell myself that, and then evening comes, and I'm tired. <laughs> and I'm just like, well, gosh, I worked all day. Do I really want to? And, you know, the, the, again, the lame, lame excuses that we give ourselves to get out of stuff. I'm guilty. I admit it. But I didn't gain this week. So, yay. So this being a holiday week, um, I've got a friend coming in, I've got stuff going on, and I'm working, so I, I don't know, I don't know how this week's going to go, so I guess we'll see next Monday. What my plan is, is of course to stick to OMAD and to cut out carbs a little bit more. Um, I don't know if I'm going to move up more than 26 hours, 27 hours, um, but I might try, we'll see. I, I do know that I'll probably be not eating great this week. <laughs> So we'll see. And I'm sure a lot of you are having the same dilemma, but it's okay because we've got a brand new decade starting January 1st, and we are going to rock this. We are going to do this, you guys. We are doing this together. And two th two 2020, 2020, it sounds weird to say, is, is going to be a fresh, new, exciting start for all of us. I just know it is. It's going to be a fantastic year. Um, so if you struggled this year, don't worry, we've got a new year, so we can start fresh. Um, I know that a lot of us have carb problems and have willpower problems and have stress eating problems, <laughs> but all of that is going to be ancient history. Um, if somebody would have told me two years ago, a year ago even, that I'd be sitting here saying I'm down more than 60 pounds, I'd, I wouldn't have believed them. No way. Because I've done the yo-yo dieting thing for so many years. This is the longest I've ever been on any lifestyle change. And I'm going to call it that because it is a lifestyle change, not really a diet. But this is the longest I've stuck to one in my entire life. I mean, I've lost 20 pounds here, 30 pounds there doing Atkins or, you know, Weight Watchers and stuff like that. But I've never kept it off. I've always, within a couple of months, I've lost it and then gained it right back plus some. So this is a nine month stretch where I have been consistently going down on the scale. So I'm very, very excited about that. And check this out, you guys. When I first started this journey, I was 210 pounds, if you remember, um, at 56 years old. I'm 57 now. <laughs> Had a birthday in there. Um, and my BMI was like off the charts, like way off the charts, in the high obese area. So I just checked, I just went online the other day and checked my BMI based on my weight now. And it's it's still in the overweight category, but it's not in the obese category anymore. It's just in the overweight and it's real close to normal. So I was so excited to see that. It's a, it's a number and I know, you know, for a lot of us that doesn't mean anything. But to me, just seeing that difference... It was phenomenal. I was just like, oh my gosh, really? I, I mean, I know I'm still overweight. I'm only 5'2", <laughs> but I'm just overweight. I'm not obese anymore, according to the BMI calculators. And I'm just above normal, where you're supposed to be. So I'm very close. So I'm thinking another 25-ish pounds, and I'll be in the normal range. So I'm, I'm so excited about that. Less, I'm less excited about that for the way I look, at, but I'm more excited about that for the fact that I'm healthier, right? That I'm, I'm actually going to be here. My daughter and I were talking the other day, and she said, you know how good it is to know that I don't have to worry about you anymore? And I'm like, what does that mean? She was really scared for my health, and justifiably, because I was going really downhill fast. So... It, it took a big burden off of her that she doesn't have to worry that I'm going to have a heart attack or a stroke because of my weight. And that made me feel good. That that's one last thing she has to worry about. I mean, she's raising a kid on her own. She's got enough to worry about. She doesn't need to be worried about me, too. So that made me feel good. Um, and I feel better. You know, I, I, I know I'm going to be around a lot longer. And 
and not just around a lot longer, but able to take care of myself, which was so important to me. If you go back to my very first video, uh, last Feb end of January, I think, was my first video, um, I was ta talking about how my blood pressure was in the stroke zone, and the doctor told me if I didn't make some severe changes and quickly, that I wouldn't be around long. Um, that scared the living hell out of me. Excuse my French, but it did. Uh, that was my wake-up call. So um, if you're on my Facebook group, you'll notice that we often talk about our whys. Why are you doing this? For me, my why was to stay alive, um, to see my grandkids grow up, to, to be able to live a long life, but a healthy life, so I'm not a burden on my children. So every time I feel like breaking OMAD or I feel like just indulging in Krispy Kreme donuts, which I've not done, by the way. But when I feel like I want to, I have to remember my why. And that's that's what stops me from grabbing that donut or from going off OMAD. Because I know my why is powerful. And it's something that resonates very deep, very deep inside. And that's what you need to find. So for, for the New Year resolution that everybody does at New Year's, Find your why if you don't already have it. And if you have a why, but you're still breaking your fasting, your why is not deep enough. Go deeper. Find a why that resonates, that when you tell yourself, this is why I'm doing this, that reason is stronger than the urge to grab that donut or to grab those carbs or to eat outside your window. You need to find a why that is going to be strong, stronger than all of your temptations. And it's not going to work 100% of the time, but even if it works 70% of the time, 80% of the time, that's 80% of the time that you would have caved that you didn't. For me, I can honestly say my why works probably 85% of the time. There's probably 15% of the time that I, I will still just cave. Just, you know, but... 15% of the time is not that much, you guys, which is why it's taken me nine months, almost 10 months, to lose a little bit more than 60 pounds, because I have had those times where I've caved, and it's thrown the scale off, but 85% of the time, when I remember my why, why am I doing this, why did I start this journey to begin with, it's enough to make me stop and say, oh, that's right, <laughs> I'm not going down that road again, I can't go back. I feel good, I'm healthy, and I want to stay that way. So find your why. And again, a, a lot of you have said that you have your why already, and that's great if you do, but if it doesn't stop you from breaking your fast 85% of the time or more, it's not a strong enough why. Find another one to add to it, or look deeper inside. Why are you doing this? Is it to stay alive? Is it to look better? Is it to feel better? Is it to wear the same size clothes you were in high school? I don't care what your why is because that's a personal decision with you. I care that your why is strong enough to keep you on this path. That's the key. So that's my suggestion for New Year's. If your why isn't strong enough to keep you on your new lifestyle path, find a new why. Or at least add to the why you currently have. Look deep, guys. Look deep. Like I said, my why is literally the doctor's telling me it, you know, your, your time is limited. You, you're not going to make it if you don't do something. That was enough for me. I don't want anybody else to have to get to that point before they find their why. Okay? Um, that's a harsh why to have, but it's mine. And it works, and it does work. So figure out yours. Okay. Also, if you do figure out yours, or if you think yours is working 85% of the time, Drop it down below. Give others some ideas that maybe they hadn't thought of before. So what is your why? This is the challenge this week. It's a new year. It's a new decade. Share your whys. Um, either both here below this video down there or over on Facebook. Again, it's Debbie Omad. We will do this together. And uh, that's our fabulous Facebook group filled with such wonderful, supportive people. Um, I did notice that we had a couple new subscribers this week um, to the video as well as on Facebook. And I'm not going to call you out by name because I haven't asked your permission yet. But I was really excited to see it. Um, one of our current 
um, subscribers invited her family, and I thought that was so cool. I did notice. <laughs> Just so you know, I do pay attention to that stuff, and I thought it was really cool to see a family joining. So obviously, you want to change stuff. You, you want to get healthy. This is the place. This is the place. Share your stories here and on Facebook. Let us know what you're doing, what your lifestyle plan is, where you're starting, where you plan to get, and what is your why. That's the big one for this week. What is your why? Why are you doing this? What reason is going to motivate you to stay on this journey? Share it below, please. Again, the reason I ask people to share below is because other people will read it. And it could, it could set off a light bulb. It could give them an aha moment. It could help change somebody else's life. And that's what this channel is all about, changing our lives for the better. All right. I'm done. <laughs> Again, sorry for the no makeup, but the hair looks cool, right? <laughs> I'll probably go back to curly, you guys, because it's just so much easier, but we'll see how it looks. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you haven't joined us on Facebook, please do. Remember, this channel is for all ages, for male and female. It is for anybody who is looking to improve their health get healthy, lose weight, and, and just live a healthier lifestyle, okay? We are in this together. We will do this together. Happy New Year's, everybody. Here's to a fantastic, fabulous 2020 for all. Bye.